Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this cover vote content that came to Madden Mobile today. Um, I posted a video earlier today um, of what happens when you log into Madden Mobile about the collectibles, the sets, and the four players that you see there. Um, but in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about this content for the cover vote. So this is actually looks like a really nice content event that they're having right now the last content voting thing we had was for that espn svp and russell o, uh voting with rob ground kelsey jeremy macklin and demarius thomas uh, and the two espn um com broadcasters sorry um and that was actually terrible guys i felt like they built it up so hyped like we were gonna get some crazy players they made some crazy teams and they acted like we were gonna get players from the team if you haven't seen or weren't playing Madden Mobile when that content was out. I have a full uh, bunch of videos talking about that. So go ahead and check those out. Um, see what that voting was like. But I felt like we got really like kind of like misleaded, I guess. Because when the voting was finished, Demarius Thomas's team did win. He had a Barry Sanders, I believe, on his team. And people were like hoping we could get a Barry Sanders or all the other great players he had. But what do we get? We get a free card of actually Demarius Thomas himself. And then... It was a 90 overall, 92 overall, and then it dropped to an 80 overall. So that was really, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I felt like that event really sucked. Um, I would wonder what happened. Let's say a com, one of the ESPN commentators won, like SP, SVP. Would he get um, a card in Madden Mobile, and what's his stats, right? So I felt like that um, ESPN voting thing was kind of like it kind of sucked. But this cover vote seems more better constructed. Seems like a better a better event. Um, and this is really nice. We get to vote for who's going to be on uh, Madden 16's cover. So us, the fans, have the choice to see out of the four people you see there um, who's going to be on the cover. This is really nice. They, I feel like they're pushing this more on Madden Mobile to vote for who's going to get the cover. Um, that doesn't mean we're going to get a Madden 16 um, mobile, Madden, uh, Madden Mobile 16. Um, we still don't know what that's up in there. All we're voting for is who's going to be on the cover 100% for sure on the console. But I feel like they're pushing it more on Madden Mobile for some reason. Uh, maybe it's so people play Madden Mobile more. Um, but yeah, so really nice. We get to choose from these four players or who's going to be on the cover of next year, guys. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And as you guys can see, it says choose from the four cover vote finalists or semi-finalists. So this is kind of weird If I when I go ahead and read down of when they get released. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about this. So there will be actually two voting periods to take place. Um, the first round is going to be for the four players you saw up there. And then the best two on, let's see, then the two highest voters um, gets a head-to-head -head match on uh, May 13th. But when I scroll down, I'll show you guys what I mean, what's kind of confusing. Um, but yeah, out of the four players or the four finalists to be on the cover, we got first, um, number 13, wide receiver, from the New York Giants, Ordell Beckham Jr. And then we got another wide receiver, number 84 from the Pittsburgh Steelers, Antonio Brown. Number 87, tight end from the New England Patriots, Rob Gronkowski. And then number 21, cornerback from Arizona, Patrick Peterson. So those are the four finalists you guys get to vote on, which is really nice. Really, all four of those had a great season this year, played really well, and they're amazing stars at the respected position. Um, I like all of these players. My favorite, of course, is Rob Gronkowski. Then I'd say Odell Beckham Jr., then Patrick Peterson, and then Antonio Brown. Um, that's just my pre uh, preference for these four players. Um, but yeah, so this event started today, guys, May 4th. And it said it started at 11 a.m. Eastern, but I got the collectible at 7 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So a um, little timing off, I guess, there. Um, but yeah, these are the collectibles, guys. There's actually two collectibles because there are two sets. Or two types of sets. There's this one for the uh, uh, cover vote. This is the actual collectible card that you will use to vote on the player. So you go ahead and put this into the voting and you get 250 coins. You guys will see that in the other video. And then they also talk about how you guys get these votes. So how do you guys cast your votes um, for your respected player you want to see on the cover? So it says the first time you log into Madden NFL Mover each day you will get one of these vote collectibles. So every day from the May May 4th to, I guess, the 13th, you will get one of these free vote collectibles, and you can go ahead and go vote for your player 
13 times if you don't play the live events. The other way, like I just said, is the live events. And this is really nice, guys. Um, a live event will pop up every six hours. And every time you complete the live event, successfully complete it, um, you will get a vote, a cover vote collectible card. So you have unlimited amount of votes as long as you have stamina. So you can go ahead and purchase Madden Cash if you want and just keep knocking out the live events and you'll keep getting these vote collectibles. Now, the other collectible I'm talking about is an athlete cover vote collectible. And this one is actually really nice. Um, there's, there's the first set where you go ahead and vote for your player. And then the second set is the actual player. So, in that video I showed you guys this morning, if you haven't watched it, go ahead and check it out. Um, there will be the top one will be for the voting and then the bottom one will be the player. So, Rob Gronkowski and Patrick Peterson are both 87 overalls and Odell Beckham Jr. and Antonio Brown are both 88 overalls. So, that's nice. Both of the, all four of those players will have a set. Each set will ask you to get, I believe, 10 athlete cover collectibles. Um, cover athlete finalist. That's what the collectible is called. Sorry. Um, you'll need 10 of those collectibles and you'll get your card. So that's actually really nice. You'll get an 87 or 88 overall, depending on which player you get for a couple of um, cover athlete finalists. With that card, let's say I voted for... Rob Gronkowski, and I got his card, so his athlete card. If Rob Gronkowski is on the cover of Madden 16, he will boost his overall from an 87 overall to a 99 overall. So you'll have a 99 overall Rob Gronkowski. I don't know if the stats are going to be as good as the Mobile Masters 99 overall, but basically, if you win, you got those collectibles for free. Um... You just got a 99 overall tight end, wide receiver, or cornerback. So that's really nice, guys. Um, the co um, cover vote collectibles, the one you see there, they are not auctionable, guys. But I do believe, since I read here, um, the cover athlete finalist collectible is auctionable. So you can go ahead and buy those athlete collectibles, I guess, on the auction block. So that's a really nice plus as well. Um, so yeah. That's what I say, and then they talk about how you guys can vote on the console. But what I really mean about, like, it's really being pushed on Madden Mobile, as you guys can see, all this is really talking about Madden Mobile, and then they just have this little section right here about how you vote on Ultimate Team. And I don't know if I'm right. I just kind of read this, but um, my interpretations on about the console, I don't know if they actually do have the players or whatever. They probably do, but as you guys can see, it's really small. Um, and they have so much about Madden Mobile, but yeah, so then this is where it says the winner will be reeled on ESPN guys. So on TV broadcast, they will release the cover athlete, I guess. So the first round will close on Monday, May 11th at 3 a.m. Eastern time. The two finalists will go, uh, will be announced on Tuesday, May 12th. And then the winner will be, um, announced on May 13th. So basically when they announce the finalists, there's only one day, I guess, for, uh, the head-to-head -head match so it's going to be like really close i guess of the two players so i don't actually it's not that confusing <laughs> i don't know why i thought it was confusing but uh on may 13th guys there will be um the cover will be announced for madden 16 so that's really nice um a lot of you guys said let's all band up and just vote for one guy um out of the four i like i said i'm a patriots fan i want rob gronkowski that's just me being biased a little bit but if you guys kind of take it in, let's say next year Rob Gronkowski is the cover on the cover of Madden 16, like Richard Sherman was the cover of Madden 16. Now, when we go into Madden Mobile for next year and he's the cover athlete, we might actually get a domination Rob Gronkowski 99 overall with a stat attribute. That would just be insane, guys. Patrick Peterson would be nice as well. All four of these players would be nice. Um, but I'm really looking at that Rob Gronkowski. If you guys want to band up and all vote for Rob Gronkowski, that's just my opinion. You guys might hate him. I love that man. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you guys, let's say we all band up and like vote on one player and he becomes the cover, possibly it's up in the air. We could get a domination version of him in the game for next year. So that's pretty sick, guys. Uh, leave a comment of who you guys are think you guys are going to vote for. 
tell me guys what you guys think about this content i want to thank you guys for watching you guys know where to tune in for all this cover vote content and that's right here on my channel guys i want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and i'll catch you guys soon peace